So we continue to model this part right here, this box. And as you can see, if you get closer, we have six lines. Each line is made up of three lines. That makes them 18 lines or segments. And here we have these two segments. So uh, I get back to 3ds Max and I press L to go to left view. From the uh, object, create object, I press on box and I will create this box right here. Let me change its parameters. I will make the uh, length 600, width maybe 602, we'll change it later. The height I will make it 60. Length segments, and here we need to change segments. Let me push this out and drag it down. So for the length segments, we agreed we will make it 20. For the width segment, I will make it just 4. Nothing more than 4 and later I will modify it. The height segment, I will raise it up to 2. And then I press right click, convert to editable body. And I don't need the internal faces. So I go to polygon mode. I select these four faces or maybe I can go to left view or no front view I press F and I need to do a rectangular selection use alt to deselect this group I think that's fine that's what we need so I press delete to get rid of this now let me get back to left view to start modifying the uh, position of vertices. Let's get back here. We need to make each three as close to each other as we can. So I go to edge mode. I select this one. One, two, three. And I use the scale. Oh, scale is not working actually. I have to do it one by one. Using the move tool. I will press pause and I will do this with all the other six lines. So as you can see, I made these lines closer to each other so I got six packs and I, I, I had one here additional at the top so I got rid of it maybe these need to be pushed just a little okay so now we need to work on vertices to change how these lines look like let me check here look how they look like they look like an eye eyebrow so we need to change the direction of the vertices. So we select this group. Let me see. Yeah. This group. This is a bit higher. And this needs to be done like this. Now uh, we need to make these vertices close to each other. And same right here. 
Yeah, we will change this shape later but let me do this first so I select this and I use scale We keep doing this with the six strings. Don't try to be accurate because there will be more modifications later. okay so we got the basic shape maybe I need to take these together and push them downward and same for this That's it. I need to make them look to this side or have some shape. So I need to get back to edge mode, double click the middle edge. And I don't need to select. Let me try it. First I, I will take it outside like this look that's not what I need so I press ctrl Z and I need to alt we go to front view and I use alt to deselect this group and same for this group it's not selected fine so I need to take this outward like this so I can get the shape or the rough shape I need fine I need to push these vertices to, towards this direction so let me go to front view press F and I go to vertex and I need to select them one by one that's the last one okay and I need to do the same for this side that's uh, I think it's back yeah so again I keep using control and I won't use rectangular selection because all I need is the vertex in front of me while using control okay I think I select all the 12 vertices I need so let me get back to front view and what I will do I will push them backwards
so that's what we get I need to do the same for these vertices in the middle but in the reverse direction so I get back to front view and I push it just like this so I can have this transition so now we got these strands let me check the photo we have we need to change this uh, part here to make it a bit thick so if we assume that uh, it goes from this to this direction that means I need to change this part so I go to left view I select this oops I select this and I scale them up a bit maybe I need to need to do this one by one And I go to edge mode, take this edge to the right, and the same right here. And let me make the reversed effect with this group I make them closer not wider one thing I like about modeling that I can do the thing using more than one method sort of fun for me so we got what we want next I will work on this side so everything can look a bit closer to the original design so I go to edge mode I double click this edge and I get back to left view so I can see the effect and let me scale this up fine I'll do the same for this uh, press lift so I can have something close to the shape we have right here now we need to do this curving and we need to create these two pieces and that's what we will do in the next tutorial so keep up with us